Hey, what's up guys, Ramon here, Monster Gadgets. I hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you might be. Thank you so much for joining me. And in today's video, we're gonna be testing out the auto park feature that is part of the full self-driving package. If you missed my previous video, we tested out the auto summons uh, feature that is again part of the full self-driving package. But today we're gonna go ahead and try out the auto park feature. And we'll do it in a couple different scenarios. We'll do it in a normal parking spot, and then we'll do it as a parallel parking, which is gonna be interesting. So let's go ahead and dive into it. All right guys, welcome back. So if you missed my previous video, I tested out the summons feature, which is part of the self, the full self-driving package. So make sure you guys go check out that video after you get done watching this one. But today we're gonna go ahead and try out the auto park feature that is part of the full self-driving package. A couple things to note, when we test this out in a normal parking lot, um, I want you guys to be aware that this, the, the feature itself is not able to actually differentiate the lines that are in the parking spot. So if you just go to, for example, like right here, if you guys can look outside, if you just go to a random spot and you wanted to park there, it's not gonna be able to pick that up. The way this feature works is it's able to figure out a parking spot between two cars. So as long as there's a parking spot available between two cars, it'll know that it's a parking spot and it'll give you an alert to go ahead and auto park it there. But in an empty spot where you've got lines of open spaces, it's not able to pick those up yet. Maybe with future updates, we'll see some of that improvement come through, but right now it does not have that capability. So let's go ahead and uh, drive up to a spot where we've got a couple cars in between, and uh, we'll try and see how well this feature works. So I am in a parking lot similar to the one that I used in my last video. And uh, let's see, we've got a spot here between these two cars, so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of pull up. Oh, cool, pick up that person right there. And uh, let's see if that parking pops up right here. You guys see that? I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. So it did recognize that parking spot. It says shift to reverse. And then it's telling us to go ahead and start auto park ready. So let's go ahead and start that. I'm gonna keep my hands near the wheel. I'm not obviously engaging in actually doing anything, but just as a precautionary measure, um, I'm gonna be ready to take over at any time. So right now it's pulling back, as you guys can see. It's getting pretty close to that car, but I'm hopeful it's gonna stop. It did. Should move forward. Perfect. And then it should back into this parking spot fairly easy. Let's see. Yep, it's backing up, straightening out a little bit. And uh, now when it's actually parking like this, I wonder if it reads the lines because it's straightening itself out pretty well and uh looks like it's stopping a little bit past the line let's see if it moves forward it did not move forward so i think again maybe it's just based off the cars but let's take a look at the camera real quick it is between the lines but as you guys can see it did go a little bit past the back line so let's go in the back take a look with my other camera uh to see how much it actually went over by So here it is where it parked by itself and it actually barely crossed the line. Uh, it's right on the line itself. Again, I'm not sure if it actually picks up on that or not. So let me know in the comment section below and I'll try to do some research on it before I post this video. But if you know this picks up the lines, um, let me know in the comment section. But overall, uh, it did a good job. I mean, it's between the lines here. It's pretty much centered, just a little bit off, but still within the lines. And so I think that was a success. All right, you guys just saw that from the outside and uh, overall I would say this was a success. Let's go ahead and try it again, maybe in a different spot between different cars um, and see how well that works. So we'll do uh, test number two. All right guys, here is test number two. This car is actually parked kind of funny. It's crooked. So we'll test it out here and see if how well it does auto parking next to a car that's not exactly parked properly. Uh, let's see if it goes ahead and picks it up. I'm gonna drive forward a little bit and Yep, it did. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the park Put it in reverse and start There we go And 
and I think it's gonna take it wider, which it is. So it's coming close to that car. Uh, I should stop it. Coming very close to it. Good, it did stop. That kind of scared me just a little bit, but I didn't do anything. It's gonna pull forward. And then it should back into that spot. Here we go. As you guys can see that car is crooked it's right next to the line and uh so far it's, it's keeping its space straightening out a little bit and coming to a stop here in a second let's see auto park complete so let's take a look at the camera real quick plenty of space in the back that's fine uh a little bit less space on this side but i think it's because this car is so close to the line here that it kept the space which i would want it to so let's go ahead and, and hop outside take a look on the outside and see what it looks like all right so right now uh as you guys can see it is definitely within the parking spot it kept this distance between these two cars it is in the parking spot and this is what i was talking about this car as far as being a little crooked so it did a great job it kept its distance a little bit more on this side because of it i think um, let's go take a look at the back real quick and see what the back looks like. We've got plenty of space here. And I think what it does, um, as I previously talked, I don't think it actually reads a line because you guys can see here, it pretty much kept the same line as this car, as well as this car. So it's got the right amount of space right here between these two cars, same amount of space between my car and pretty much the same amount of space as this car. So I think this, our car, well, my car, actually does use the information from the cars next to it instead of the actual lines. Um, so I think I might've answered my own question, but again, let me know in the comments section below if you guys know anything different or have experienced anything different. But right now it is pretty aligned with these two cars. So I'm gonna go with that theory for now. All right, you guys just saw the outside view of test number two. This was a success. So now let's go ahead and find a spot where I can go ahead and parallel park, which where I live, there's really not that many parallel parking areas. So I'm gonna go down to our downtown area, which is the city of Naperville. For those of you that might not know, uh, the city of Naperville is about 35, 40 minutes west of Chicago in Illinois. So a little history or geographic lesson there. But uh, let me go ahead and go down there because I know there's some parallel parking spots there and we'll go ahead and test it out. All right guys, so I just realized instead of going to downtown Naperville, which is gonna be a 15 minute drive from where I live, I realized there's an actually uh, a strip mall that has side parking that has parallel parking available. So we're gonna go ahead and see if it picks up these spots here. And so we'll try and park between these cars as you guys can see on the right hand side of that park, that car is not actually parked properly because it's past the line. But uh, let's go ahead and turn the turn signal on, that way people behind us know. It did pick up that spot. Shift to reverse and start. There we go. Auto park in progress. Let it do its thing. You guys can see I'm not intervening. Good, that was a good turn. I'm just looking at the rear view mirror as well as the spot here, making sure it's not gonna hit the curb. Stop by itself, good. And is it gonna move forward a little bit? It is. And voila. There we go. Auto park complete, that was awesome. I personally don't have issues parallel parking. I can park pretty well, but I know a lot of people have, one of the difficult things to do is parallel park. I wonder if you can use this in a test when you're doing a driving test. No, I'm joking, you probably can't do that. But uh, that worked really well. It's got good amount of space on the curb here. It is far enough inside. It's kept its distance in the car behind us and plenty of distance in the front. But let's go ahead and hop outside, take a look at it from outside and see what it's like. So again, same thing in this case, I think it goes off the car, not act off the actual line, but you guys can see the parking spot line was there. And that car actually did not park properly because it went past the line as well, but it goes off the actual cars in my opinion. This is parked crooked, but it still went around it. Did a great job parking overall. There is plenty of space uh, between the curb and the car. So no worries about any damage to the rims or anything like that while it's parking. 
plenty of space in the front of the car and obviously plenty of space behind it as well. So I would say this did a great job. Uh, it's parked like it's supposed to, backed into it and then went forward one time. That is a rule of properly parallel parking a car. Sometimes people obviously go back and forth a number of times trying to get it properly done. But the rule actually is you back into the spot and you move forward one time and you should be able to leave it there. That is the standard when you take an actual test for your driver's license. So I would say this was a success. Right. You guys just saw the outside. Um, this did a great job parking by itself. Um, I'll try and see if I can pick another spot to do another test, but if not, we know that this works well. All right guys, there you have it. Now you've seen the auto park feature work in a normal parking spot within a parking lot and then also work in parallel parking on the side of the street. So uh, let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought of this demonstration as well as what you think of this full self-driving package. For those of you that might not know, currently that package you can buy on any Tesla for about $10,000. The prices of that package has increased over the last few years. And right now Tesla is actually working on releasing a month to month subscription. Now, I don't know a whole lot about that. Uh, there's some mixed things online about when it's supposed to come out and what it's gonna offer, but uh, there hasn't really been any official news about how that package is gonna be set up as of the time of this recording. Uh, in my opinion, I think it, it makes sense to have it more for people that lease cars instead of people that buy cars. Um, but who knows, maybe they'll have it available for both people that buy as well as lease. Uh, either way, it's fine. But as of right now, again, that package is $10,000 with the purchase of a car with any Tesla. Uh, so if you want to add that package on, it includes a number of features such as navigate an autopilot, auto lane change, auto park, summons, full self-driving computer, traffic light, and stop sign controls. So uh, let me know what you guys think about the value of this thing. I think it will increase over time. Uh, right now, with that package, it's not a, not fully autonomous. Uh, I believe we're at level two right now, and I think the goal is to get to level five, which means basically you won't even have a steering wheel, you don't need to have any human interventions and things like that. Uh, but right now, the way it stands, obviously, it's not there yet. They're still updating it. There's new up over the air updates that come out that enhances some of those features. But again, overall, there'll be more updates coming on where this package or ability of this car is going to increase and become more autonomous. So um, I think it's super exciting. But let me know in the comment section below what you guys think, if this package is worth it, if you would purchase it, and if you would purchase it, what would be the selling point for you? Would it be the auto park? Would it be the self-driving? Um, so let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear that from you. But if hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. That's kind of odd to do. I don't know if I can do that like with one hand backwards. Like, go. Okay, anyways. See you guys next time. Bye.